I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska statewide weather on this Monday, October 14th. We continue to watch an area of low pressure east-southeast of Kodiak Island. It'll slowly dissipate as it works its way eastward along the lower Gulf North Pacific interface. And that trend will continue through uh, early and midweek. Still, there will be some areas of gusty winds and mainly lingering light rain showers along areas of the Gulf Coast into the Panhandle. But drier air is pushing southward and allowing for some clearing to occur across south central areas. And that's good news because we have a comet visible in the western evening sky that will be visible not just this week but into next week. So the next couple of evenings, if you have a clear sky and you can see the western horizon, comet Sushinshan, Atlas will be visible about 10 degrees above the horizon this Monday evening. Best time to look would be about 45 minutes after sunset between 7.30 and 8.30 in the evening. Now further north and west we have a potent area of low pressure and cold front that's uh, currently uh, going to come in off of the uh, Russian Arctic coast and pushing along the Chukchi Sea coastline especially between Point Hope in Utgeadvik on Tuesday. This will bring accumulating snow and some stronger gusty winds. Also some elevated water levels along the northwestern Arctic coastline of a foot or two above normal high tide as we go through Tuesday into Wednesday morning. And that's going to spread some colder air and accumulating snows east and southeastward across the north slope. Uh, Brooks range into central areas of the interior as we go through Wednesday into early Thursday. And overall just bringing some chillier temperatures across the central mainland that'll push all the way southeastward to the Alaska range and on up into the Copper River Valley by Thursday. Otherwise after that we'll be keeping an eye on a low pressure that doesn't have a lot of punch to it that's going to work its way along and south of the Aleutians and that low will eventually send some energy uh, another piece of energy will come up out of the North Pacific into the Gulf, uh, which stands to bring back some windier conditions and some moderate to heavy precipitation to areas along the Gulf Coast and Panhandle late this week into the upcoming weekend. Otherwise, we're just going to see a general cooling trend here through the end of the month with increasing chances of snow with each weather system. For Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm 